We used to feed them, take them to the hospital if they have a problem, if they are sick, to the hospital. And they became really our friends. And even right now when I go there, they just know whenever they see me, it's food. All the life they have lived on the street, this is the life that boosted my prayer life. This is the life that is boosting my formation. Because I now know that indeed, God has the protective power. But those children, indeed, they don't have anywhere to stay. They don't have a house. They don't have anybody to take care of them. With an exception of only three days of the Zavirian brothers going there. But all of their lives in the street, they stay outside. Some of them are very, very young. But you find them strong playing. Now that's when I began saying, God is now prevailing. He's showing his mighty hand because of what is happening to them. And it boosted also my faith in God. Because even if everybody will move away from me, the Lord will be still will still be with me. Because of those children. They have nobody. But I believe they have the Lord. I'm uh, Stephen Cyprian. I'm from Bungoma, Kibabi Parish. Uh, in my family, I'm the fifth born. At the same time, I was also the scapegoat in my family. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed it. You were the scapegoat. The scapegoat in your family. In my family. Uh, I came to know the brothers in the year 2009 when I first met Brother Moses. Uh, he used to teach me the common prayers where while he was still a youth in our parish. And then he just disappeared. I even didn't know where he had gone. Although he knew that I wanted to be a priest because by that time I had, I had, I had not known there was a religious life. I only wanted to be a priest. Then as time went by, with all the experience I was having, I again changed my vocation. I said I don't want to be a priest, neither do I want to be a religious. I want to join the army. That one began when I was in grade eight. But then, after my secondary, I remained at home, just like a hopeless man. Then, I just met Brother Moses on the way. I was just walking, then I met him on the way. He reminded me of what he used to do to me while he was still a youth. And I accepted, and then he asked me uh, to go for the come and see. That is when I began now diminishing the desire to become a priest. It began going low and the brotherhood now coming up. And it became more strong. Until now, I um, decided I don't want I don't want to be a priest. I just want to be a brother. Because I have seen them even when they are professing. Uh, some of them even they have no need of putting on their habits. They don't, they have no need. They appear to be among the people. Now that comes, living among the poor and the marginalized. You don't realize who is who. Joining the Zavirian brothers was just a way of joining those people who are, who are disciples of the Lord. And whoever we are following is a, an unviolent messiah. And this is the only man who came on earth not to live but to die. And it was not an obligation. It was a free choice. So it is the freedom that this man had that allowed him to choose the extreme even of his life. And due to his freedom, he has tried to show us, indeed, 
that the hand of God can reach anywhere, even in hell. Because when he died, he descended to hell, and then he came out of there victorious. So due to his freedom, he has gone that far, and then came out victorious. Uh, when I heard Brother John Collins, I can now be very, very frank. I was under a very strong, strenuous formation, sincerely speaking. Now, by the time Brother John Collins left, I now experienced something else. I had now Brother Dominic. With Brother Dominic, I felt something to do with freedom. I relaxed. Then I found out that I was reducing the needs. Then I came to conclude by myself, with freedom, needs reduce, the needs reduce. Because I, I used to ask Brother John Collins, every now and then I need this, I need that. I even was not having good health, any time, headache. Just any time of the day, headache. And he didn't like that. So it's like he was not in good terms with me because of my health. And that brought about uh, uh, experiencing a certain external force. So I wasn't free, and for that matter, my needs were too high. I appear to be expensive when I'm not, just because of <laughs> that captivity, the self captivity. I was imprisoned. I felt imprisoned, and living with somebody, according to what he's doing to you, I thought, to me, I thought, it's like he was not. Uh, he didn't. He did not want me to be there. Now, that again caused captivity. But in this captivity, to now force myself to be there and be free with him, I decided on one thing. I was always under desolations. When I encountered a book by Ignatius of Loyola, talking about consolations and desolations, why we meet consolations and why we meet desolations. So I read, and I found out that it was just a matter of prayer. Then I stepped down, I rooted myself into prayer. Then I saw things now changing just slowly, slowly by slowly. I became a little bit relaxed with Brother John Collins. And then at near the end, near to the end, when he was just about to leave the States, I met him again for the one one on one. Uh, that is the only one on one that I finished with Brother John Collins in a very happy mood. Because all the others back, I could go there and come out sad. I also leave him sad. <laughs> but the last one, I came out a happy man. Because I was uh, uh, thanking him for what he has done to me, for what I have learned from him, despite of the fact that. He knew he was a very, very, uh, he was heavy on me. He knew that. And when I was saying that, I'm happy you have been here, you have helped me. If you will ask me now to go home, to quit the congregation, I will tell you thank you. He was just laughing. <laughs> he was just laughing at me, thinking uh, maybe I was joking, but I was serious. And right now I'm thinking of writing to him, telling him thank you very much. Because what he taught me there, uh, I, did not get, I, I did not take it too serious when I was still there. But now, as I'm reading, I'm now finding out what he was saying is now what, I was, what I'm reading now. So I'm trying to make it now a reality in me. So he's good. And I remember I told Brother Larry it was good to bring him. That strong personality has also tried to make me strong too. Because I can now say if I was that weak, I would have left. But I'm still here by the grace of God. I prayed the Lord did not leave me alone. I'm now here. I love Brother John Collins. <laughs>